Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I would like to talk about the arena in Oblivion and whether or not it's a you know worth it, fun to actually complete the arena. Like the arena, like go through the ranks, become grand champion. So in case you don't know, the arena district is in well the Imperial City, and you can join as a combatant and fight your way all the way up through the arena and become the grand champion. Pretty simple. And really, as a whole, all you're doing is fighting people. You're just fighting people after people after people. But the arena can be valuable as a starting quest line. So as like, if you're like a level 20 or 30, the arena can also be kind of useful. But in terms of just the fighting people, right? You're gonna get XP off of this. You can use it to power up a specific skill you want. So if you want a character to be better at combat, let's just, just anything in combat, except for sneak, because it's the arena, then putting them in the arena is good, okay? Because you're gonna make that character better at something. You're gonna get enemies, just a constant flow of enemies, you can stop all the battles, you know, you're not stuck inside of a cave. As soon as you're done, you can go buy potions. You know, it's a really nice way of leveling up your character. You can also use the arena if, let's say, you want to work on Blunt, but you've been working on Blade for the past 20 levels, because the first set of enemies are still kind of scaled down to, you know, you can instantly destroy them, right? And if worse comes to worse, you just pull out your cool equipment that you're going to use and kill them. So the arena for me, is a set of quests that you use to power level a combat skill that you pick. Or even get a couple couple buffs to a skill that's high up there, but I don't really like it for that. You get a ton of money off of it, which later on in the game doesn't matter, but early in the game it really matters, because you're getting paid 50s and, tw and 200s and 100s and 150s and two f $250, you know, a match, it starts to add up quickly. And if you join the arena, you get a quest um, from the Grey Prince. And if you do this quest, you get a couple permanent fortifications, which is really nice. You get, a, like, two plus in, I want to say, like, block, athletics, and blade. But there are permanent fortifications that won't go away. So it gives you that little advantage. And then you can get the Grand Champion Raiment, which the Raiments, they're kind of like meh. You know, they're full body suits. And they help, but... I personally just keep them as mementos. I don't really care about the raiments, but the real kind of advantage you get if you complete the arena is not only all the gold and the skill buffs, but the grand champion perk status. So what happens when you're the grand champion is you can talk to this lady every week and she can send out creatures and you pick the amount of creatures to go fight. It's so like three minotaurs, three lions, you know, a lion and two minotaurs, something like that, some combination of monsters. And you get paid a ton of gold for beating these guys. So, in the Fighter's Guild, if you complete the Fighter's Guild, you have the gold, right, you get. If you complete the Thieves' Guild, you can sell stolen things. You have the gold chest and the selling stolen things. If you complete the Mage's Guild, you can dupe 10 uh, expensive ingredients, right? But the arena, to my experience, has the most value at the end of it because you can just pop it like you're spending your week I guess every week in game it's like you go raid some stuff then you level up then oh I don't have enough money to skill up let me just pop in here and get paid thousands of gold and then go level up my character with training so I think personally just for me when you're using a character if you're trying to efficiently level them or power level a combat skill or even two the arena is amazing for it, and the arena is amazing for that backup, I need 3,000 gold quick, let me pop in the arena, kill some monsters, of course you get alchemy ingredients out of it, if it's like minotaurs or ogres, and it's really nice. So I personally, I really think that completing the arena for a low level character to buff up gold is good, and I think it's also worth it just to have the safety net of, I can just drop in and get gold. So that's what I think about the arena guys, um, that's it. I'm Pacific Cash Gamer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, my outro is never the same ever, ever. I'm, I'm sucking at being a YouTuber. Not the same outro. 
But I'll see you guys in the next episode of Steam Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.